if I want to play defensive wrestling or I want to attack. So my hands come in, they shoot in, elbows are in. I was talking about the concept yesterday of just being like a, a blocker or a club. Um, I'm not pushing really hard with this. I don't want to oversell this. All right, I want this there to kind of block. When, you, when you're kind of just resting here with this, you're, you're touching the chest with your forearm, you're able to hook the head, you can feel everything they're doing. You don't need to look. So if you think of it like in the mindset of this is kind of like your, your sensor to know. So like if he drops his level, my oh, crap, my initial reaction is just kind of back up, bring my legs back. So that's what I was talking about last week. Just hanging here, and being able to push the head and pull the head across, and also just kind of block and drive them back with it. So whether you're right or you're lefty, same concept, right? Depending on what they do, if they get off balance. He starts to, he's got a stance this way, starting to lean, right? I can kind of club him, get him off balance. So that's what I like, that inside control. So last week we did the sweep single finish. Uh, I put it online, so if you guys want to see it later, Mark has it or whatever, but over here, Mark put it on that, I should say. Yeah. Here, boom, I come in here. Yesterday I was talking, or last week I was talking about clubbing the head and pulling the arm across. So we're not pushing, 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 driving down, because obviously it's going to be opposition. You're just going to be pushing back on you, right? So that's why I really want to come in. I just want to almost chop on them. So when I come in, I go pull my club, and then I, I jam them. I drive it across. Boom, here. All right? Now, last week I, I attacked the near leg. Boom. I dropped down. Caught, connected my hand, came around. And notice the angle I have. I was talking about the pooling concept. It's almost a natural thing that happens. It's not like I'm going to overemphasize it, but to get him even more off balance and spread his hips out, as I'm going around the corner, I'm pulling this leg. I'm collecting the knee, driving up. I'm here. Constant pressure on my toes. Same setup, same concept. I come in here, he's driving in like this. I club, my hand comes free. I, I drive down and cross and catch the ankle. Ankle picks, awesome stuff in the jitsu. Here, drive in, catch club, boom. Now, see how I reach? Can't catch it, he steps back. My open hand, I step up on this leg, I still have my club, I pull the head, step up, pick on the inside. That's Tim Hart's stuff. So we're here, okay? I go for that near leg, step back, step this back, step back, can't get it. Come back to the head, boom, ankle pick here. Looking to pass the guard. All right. Comes up first, pressure guard, whatever, from open guard, yeah. Right. Before we get here, right? Planning, wrestling from the ground. When I first started jujitsu, uh, you know, obviously, just had the wrestling experience, didn't know anything. And my buddy was like, it's just like wrestling, it's just on the ground, it's just like wrestling. I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It took like four, five, six years, I'm like, all right, he's kind of right. He's, our, he's right. It's the same stuff with obviously a lot more submissions, but it's the same concepts of the way you use your body. So if I'm, I, you know, I like to play top game a little bit. I like to pass there. It's where I'm comfortable. Um, but if someone comes up and they're trying to pass my guard from the feet, come all the way up, right? We're here, we're playing and stuff like that. You can still do all of this. He starts to come in and engage, step back, grab your head. I come up and ankle pick. You just have to make sure you angle your body, okay? So I want you to kind of work from here. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing. Last week we did kind of catching the wrist coming in. I'm not attacking this. I'm not attacking here, right? I'm letting you come to me. Okay? Taking the back. If you attack at this, they're going to start to defend right away, right? Because I got your leg. If I come in like this, I got your leg, you start to sprawl. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to let it come to me. That first one I taught last week, boom. Okay? Second one. We're here, we're playing. All right? Come back. Pop up to my knees. Here, kiss the head. I come up. Pass. All right? So just kind of working for that position. Just like 50%. I want you to play with the single from the butt. Come up. Play with the, the ankle pick from the butt. Okay? It works both ways. What's up? You uh, see it? Yeah, just part of whenever you're doing an ankle clip, are you hitting the opposite shoulder? So you're either hitting this or chopping here. Clubbing the head towards the ankle. So it's always and just all the arm across. It's never, nice. you know, like here and here. You right? can, no, no, you can. 
But it, and from a sitting position here, it's going to be tough for me to catch here with any momentum. Yeah, well, when you do an angle, where, where you're hitting my body. So you're going that way. I have the wrong angle with, for it. With this, right? This way. Okay. So far angle pick. Standing, right? Yeah. Okay, I got you. So there's far ankle pick and, the, and near ankle pick. Mm -hmm. Just lean in so it's easier. You go like this. Mm -hmm. Come on. You step this back. Okay. I got but that you. has to be forward. So mm -hmm. this comes forward by you stepping that back. So you're always going for the one that's forward for a pick. Driving the head across that. Uh -huh. way. 